Hey guys, Techman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix this issue where verification failed. This app ID is not active on your iPhone now. There's many reasons why you might be seeing this issue, and we're going to explain to you what this means and a couple of ways to go about fixing it. Now, this message you might see something along the lines of this app ID is not active, or even something like this where it says this person is not active. So these are slightly different. Uh, message but pretty much the same fix goes for both of them so we'll show you both of the fixes again it's tied back to a couple things so let's talk about this so why are you seeing this message and how can you fix it first thing is to understand why you're seeing this message well one of the main reasons why you're seeing that message that we just show you it's because your account is either disabled or locked by apple for a couple things it could be because of payment that might have failed, a subscription that might be need to be renewed, or for security reasons, Apple suspects that your account has been doing some unusual activity and might lock you out just to protect you to from your account getting into any weird issues. So how can we fix that? Well, the first thing you want to do when you see that message, it might just be really temporary. So what you can do is force restart your phone. So to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold the side button. And as you can see here, it's going to be something like this. You're not going to slide to power off. You're just going to keep on holding that side button just like that until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear again. So the Apple logo will appear just like that and then you let go of that button again. Remember, you have to do the volume up really quick, press and release, and then volume down after that right away, press and release. So you do up, down, and then quickly hold the side button. If Siri activates for some reason, you didn't press and release that. Now, this is slightly different from just a regular restart. What this does is reboots the phone, reloads the code, and gives us a nice, fresh reboot of the RAM. So if any software-related issue that could be causing that error message to come up, it should hopefully resolve it. Now, number two thing that you want to do if you're still seeing that issue is hop over to your browser here. Now, in the browser, we're going to look for something called um, Apple System Status. So Apple, if you search up Apple System status page right it's a page that apple provides to report on all the services that are running on apple server which you can pretty much go to by googling this and then if you click on this you'll notice here all of these services that are available when you're using the iphone again for the most part these will should be all available for you to use so you can see here all of these services now the one that's important we're going to check things like apple store if you're seeing that message in the apple store make sure this is available although the other one you want to check is apple id you want to make sure these services are available in rare cases sometimes these services are unavailable in your region or country or for a certain period of time it could be like an hour or two maybe a couple hours even days sometimes depending on it but apple generally fixes this but there are certain times where these services are unavailable so you can access apple services with your apple id and that's why you're seeing this error so the best thing to do is wait it out again if you see that it's unavailable for a really long time you can go ahead and uh, do the next thing which would be contacting apple support for it but before you do contact apple service check this out and the next thing we want to do is try to actually access our account from the actual web page itself so this time we'll go to apple id and then as you can see here it will take you to appleid.apple.com so you can search google search for this link or you can just simply go to it so you can search for it so we'll do it one more time apple id log in here basically it will sign you into apple id for the support here so what we can do is sign in here okay so maybe this one it's going to show you how to do it but we'll look for here we'll do apple id apple id so you want to go to this site where it says appleid.app.id.apple.com. Once you click on that URL, it's going to be loading just like here. So you're going to wait. What will happen is it will prompt you to log into your Apple account online. So you want to hit that sign in option. And generally, well, this will happen. It should recognize your ID and you're going to hit with continue with password. Now, you know, once you enter the password, it will log you in. And if you see any error message come up, you can pretty much resolve it from the web itself, which is a good thing to do. The other thing you can do is also do is forget your password and reset your password, which again, will kind of help the 
account going to go through the process to activate it has been disabled locked out for some reason like if someone is trying to use your apple id or apple locked it just for security reason can do forget password and then it will prompt you to go through the different steps to do a reset of your password now you can also do this through the settings here if you don't want to do it through the web browser if you go to your account here click on your name here and then you'll click on right here which says password and security so you want to click on that password and security and it will prompt you for your password so if you enter it wrong you can reset it there as well so you would enter the wrong one and then you can reset your password as well the other thing here you might also want to consider doing is doing a sign out here so if you want to sign out and then sign back into your Apple ID. And if you can't sign back to your Apple ID, that means there's still something going on. And which brings us to the next thing you want to do. It's going to be doing a software update. And to do a software update, you want to go to settings. And then this time you're going to go general and the software update. And look to see if there's an update available. Sometimes with the different updates Apple releases, because they release a lot of updates throughout the time, is that you want to make sure you got the latest version updated. It will say download and install if there's a new update out. Install the new update because, again, it could be messing with your Apple ID. Finally, if you're still having the issue, the next thing you want to check is go into settings again, general. And this time we're going to check out a date and time. If you click on date and time, what you want to do is match up that time with your local time here. So let's say this time is off or it's not set correctly. You want to set it correctly and pick your region as well for your time zone. Generally, it automatically works pretty well. But if you find that automatically isn't picking up the right time, you can turn it off and set this time manually as well because this time needs to be correct and the region has to be correct because when it's accessing apple services it's making sure the time zone matches up lastly if none of these uh, none of these have helped so far it's pretty much a point where apple needs to step in to resolve that issue and you need to contact apple support and how can you apple contact apple support you can go to a store to apple store and help ask for help or you can do it online by going to search up apple support and then you can do help, Apple support help. And now you can do a couple things. You can call them up or you can contact here. And here you can go through the steps to contact them. And you can pretty much go through this process where you're going to sign in, try to sign in, or at least contact them through here. And it gives you different options which you want to do. You can download the Apple support app as well to go through the process to figure out exactly what's going on with your account. And again, most of the time it might be that they locked it or disabled it because of security reasons and once you talk with them they can resolve that issue for you so hopefully one of these tips help you guys resolve your issue with your account we want to hear from you guys what helped or if you found a better way to resolve the issue please leave a comment in the comment section and also while you're at it really appreciate if you guys hit that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time